Don't sleep, man. Stay woke, man. Tap in. See what's going on, man. We begin our report with the kidnapping of four Americans in Mexico. Two of them are safely back on U.S. soil. The other two are dead. The victims were found in a rural area east of the northern Mexico Crazy. border city of Metromoros. The other two survivors were returned to the U.S. to... I heard about this story. I usually don't do stories like this, but somebody was sleeping this one because the uh, story don't match up. Day. Mexican officials say one of them was injured. Omar Villafranca is in Brownsville, Texas with the latest. Two Americans who survived being caught in a shootout and kidnapped by cartel gunmen were taken to a hospital in Brownsville, Texas today. Mexican authorities found Latavia McGee and Eric Williams at a stash house outside the city of Matamoros after gunmen moved them to multiple locations to avoid capture. It was the end of a road trip for cosmetic surgery. McGee, Williams, along with their close friends, Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown, traveled last week from South Carolina to Matamoros so McGee could have cosmetic surgery. This video shows the most. Hmm. So did she have cosmetic surgery or was they on their way? Because it seems like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't get to where they was going. And who drives a thousand miles to Mexico? You know what I'm saying? Somebody got their tax money back. <laughs> Try and flip that thing. Yeah, let me see what's going on. Moment when they were kidnapped at gunpoint after being caught in a shootout between rival cartel gangs. Here, you see McGee being forced into the back of a pickup truck by armed men, with others who appear hurt, also dragged and loaded onto the truck bed. Woodard and Brown were killed. Traveling abroad for medicine and medical procedures is common. More than a million Americans traveled to Mexico for health tourism last year, spending about $250 million. 38-year-old Williams, a husband and father, was shot in the leg but is expected to survive. Mm. We talked to his wife, Michelle, you moments ago from North Carolina. She no. didn't want to show her face. but said, I ain't heard nobody surviving a cartel hit. She talked to her husband happened. today. Did he tell you anything about that moment at all? No, we didn't discuss it because it was to hear his voice. It was just a lot of crying. My son was there. And my son just wanted to hear his voice. And then he had to go because he was going into the, the hospital. CBS News has learned that McGee had been to Mexico before for cosmetic surgery. Investigators are blaming the Gulf Cartel for this incident. And Mexican authorities have also announced that a 24-year-old has been arrested in connection with this attack. John? Omar. I mean, it could have been. It could have been cosmetic, you know what I'm saying? Got their tax money trying to get a BBL, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. But, you know, to me, one female, three guys, you know what I'm saying? On the way to Mexico, seemed like that pack was, <laughs> that pack was Trump finna hit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it didn't work out too well. Uh, prayers for them, you know. I don't want to see nobody get hurt. Uh, Y'all got to stay out of Mexico, man. Y'all got to stay out of Mexico. It's a, it's a war going on out there, man. Stay woke, man. It's a war going on in the streets. Stay out of Mexico. Yeah. Don't 